What's going on guys? You're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to be talking about how to expand binomial products. And what this really means is what happens when there's two brackets right next to each other. Okay, I don't know why we use all these annoying words, but that's what we're trying to do. So an example of this will look like x plus 8 all in brackets and then x plus 3 right next to it. So remember that when there's no sign, we're saying that's multiplying. So this is this sentence is saying that both the x and the 8 have to multiply with this one and they have to multiply with this one. So it's pretty similar to the normal expansion that we've done in the last couple of videos, but instead of one term, now we've got two terms. So the way that you might have been taught this is a scaffold to make sure you don't miss any terms, and it's called FOIL. So what that means is that we're going to multiply the first number, then the two outside numbers, then the two inside numbers, and then the last numbers. After that, we've got to collect any like terms, and then we're done. So for this one here, we've got x plus 8 and x plus 3. My big pro tip, again, is please throw your arrows in, because it'll just make it a little bit more helpful. So we've got to do the first one first. So x times x becomes x squared. Then we're doing our two outside terms. So x times plus 3 is plus 3x. Then we're doing our two inside numbers. So plus 8 times by x becomes plus 8x. And finally, we're doing our two last ones, which is 8 times 3. So that becomes plus 24. We do have to collect our simplified terms. And usually if it's written like this, they're going to be our two middle ones. So we're not going to have to look too hard to find them. So this simplified form is x squared plus 11x plus 24. And that's all we've got to do. So please throw your arrows in. It'll just mean you're not missing anything. And I do think you'll find it pretty helpful. So we can see in a slightly harder example, things can change around, but it's once we've got that scaffold down, we're not going to miss anything. The multiplication is still pretty easy. So for this one, we're going to do the first two terms. So 3a multiplied by 4a, and that becomes 12a squared. Then we're doing the two outside. So it becomes 4a multiplied by 2. So we've got plus 8a. Then we've got this minus 1. Make sure we do account for the fact that it's a negative. The minus 1 times 3a. So that becomes minus 3a. And then for this last one, minus 1 times positive 2 is minus 2. We've got to collect our like terms. So this is 12a squared plus 5a minus 2. That's all we've got to do for these ones. So it's not too difficult. If you're good at multiplying algebraic terms, I think you're going to find it fine. And you don't have to do the FOIL method. You can do whichever ones you want. It is just a good way to make sure that you hit every single term within both brackets. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you didn't find that algebra too boring. There are some free worksheets attached in the description if you're looking for some extra help, as well as the notes from the whiteboard. If you guys do get a second, please subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more maths content coming out every couple of days. Thanks so much, and hopefully you're back for some more quick math.